Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to some more modded Minecraft here on Regrowth. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully y'all are doing fantastic. I know I'm doing pretty good. Things have completely died down at work now. We are pretty much done with everything we need to get done before the 15th, and we are like a week ahead. But that's pretty standard for us, so uh, we kind of give that last week or so just to make sure nothing crazy happens that we weren't expecting. But uh, welcome back to Regrowth. Hopefully... You guys are as excited as I am. We got some fun plans for today. We're gonna do some building. I don't know, the next couple of episodes might be pretty building heavy till we get to 50. There's some things I wanna get done before the world downloads. So we're gonna be focusing on that pretty heavily, I think. So let's go ahead and open up our quest book for our very first quest. And you guys know exactly where that's coming from, right? The life of the world. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some garlic. While a favorite of Cook's, vampires seem to have an unusual version to this vegetable. You can mutate it from Snowbell and Water Artichoke. So, we just happened to go grab a bunch of those in the whole intro. Let's see, water goes here, 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 and here. Snowbell, not ball, Snowbell. We do get snowballs from it, however. Okay, and then I've got bone meal in my handy dandy backpack. Very nice, let's get this thing going. Is that all the way? Yep, that's all the way up. Boop. Boop. Are you sure that one? Yep, that's all the way up. Okay, so I had to double check. Eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay, so we should get this here pretty quick. And today we are actually going to be focusing 100% oh, on the uh, life of the world. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. We are going to be building a barn. You guys probably know that from the name of the video as well as a screenshot. So we're going to put it over here. A little bit out of the way. And it's going to be a pretty decently sized structure. And then if we have time at the end of the episode, we're going to get ourselves a few more of the farm animals. So I'm looking forward to this. I've been waiting for this for a little while. And finally, we have a design that I'm happy with. So you guys know how we're going to do this, right? Jump into old Yeti Speed. We'll give a huge shout out again to 99 Blocks. He's the one that came up with the uh, animation there that runs across the bottom of the screen. And it's also his voice saying Yeti Speed. So 99 Blocks, you're the man. Thanks again. Really, really appreciate it. Anyway, we will jump into Yeti Speed, and I will catch you all whoop, on the other side. So we will see you in a few minutes, probably. Yeti Speed.
and here we are. So take a look at our fancy little barn we've got. So I noticed in my recording I forgot this. So when I was editing it all down to check for time, I noticed this was not there. So we fixed it. Anyway, so that's uniform all the way across. Kind of want to show you what I've done on the inside. I've added some details. We've got some some uh, like pathways. We've got hay bales all over. We brought a couple of the cows in, some of the chickens, and then we'll put the four other animals that we have planned over here. Let's go ahead and come up here on the ladder real quick. You can see here's the second level. I haven't got anything planned up here yet. It's just kind of like an overlook area, some balcony. We can kind of come over here and check out our farms, which I think is pretty cool. This is a sweet view. Oh, lots of work has gone into all these seats. <laughs> pretty awesome. Okay, so we actually do have plenty of time to go get ourselves a few of the animals left in the life of the world. So hopefully, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna dump this in here. And where'd my quest book go? There she is. Okay, oh my goodness. Let's talk about this diamond wand for a second. I was like debating whether I wanted to use this or not. I just use a whole bunch of stone ones. Whew. Diamond wand saved my life, cut out so much time. So, highly recommend that if you guys are building anyway because you can also do up the stone ones don't go up they only go to the sides okay let's read our quest book real quick click to start blah 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 blah. here we go life of the world here we are we are going to get we've got the cow already next is the pig this little piggy pork's good pork's really good and pigs will let you ride them if that tickles your fancy why not so we need to get ourselves a spawn pig. Let's so to do so, I have the ingredients right here. Oops, let's not do this. Got a super messy inventory right now after all of that fun stuff. Okay, so we need an egg, some experience drops, some mushrooms, and some carrots. Okay, so let's go over here real quick. We'll throw all these guys in. You guys know the drill of this by now. An egg, three experience drops, red mushroom, brown mushroom, and three carrots. Two carrots, apparently. Yep, two carrots. I don't know if I had three in there. Anyway, so I'm going to let this go, and I'll catch up with you guys once it's ready to collect. And here we are. This guy is ready, so let's give it some living rock. Ah, spawn egg. We've got it. So let's put this guy over here real quick. We're going to get a handful of these. Claim our reward. We get another and some more XP drops. This is exciting stuff. So let's go back over this way. And we can put this here. XP drops go there. Oh, let's read our quest first for the next one. Next, we are going to be getting ourselves an ocelot. It's a kitty. What else needs to be said? Okay, not super exciting there. But for the ocelot, we actually need quite a few things. So we need an egg, of course, some XP, gunpowder, fish. Okay, here we go. So, whoops, one egg, three XP drops, two gunpowder, and two of any raw fish. And this guy is off and away. So I'm going to go empty my inventory, and I'll catch up with you once this is ready for us. So here we are. Our ocelot is ready to collect. Just like that. Let's go run over this way. We can claim our reward real quick. Boop. Very nice, get a couple more little things. Next, we are going to get ourselves a wolf. Wolves are tamed easily and incredibly loyal once you've done so. That and their tongues are rather useful when practicing witchcraft. Interesting. I've noticed that I've gotten tongue of dog a couple times when killing some of those dogs in the nether. Maybe that's what that's talking about. Not really sure to be honest. Okay, so this goes here. Okay, here we go, we'll go get this guy going. So, to get ourselves a wolf, we need egg, three XP drops, two bones, and two raw beef. So, I'll see you in just a sec. In just a few more seconds here for our little wolf friend. And, phew, ready. Okay, collect this guy. Excellent. And let's claim our reward. Next, we are going to be getting ourselves ba ba a black sheep. All right. Sheep can provide you with as much wool as you want, might want and act as a fairly noisy roommate. I hear werewolves consider them a delicacy too. Interesting, so maybe we'll start seeing some werewolves. Anyway, so to get this guy, egg, two wool, two wheat, 
One, two, three, experience drops. And I will catch up with you once this is ready for us. And here it is, our very last animal for today, anyway. hey -oh, we did it. Claim our reward. Excellent. So we've got a few more things that we can spawn. Most of these are hostile mobs, but then we've got some other interesting things over here, including villagers and hobgoblins. So let's go check on our garlic seeds, since that's what our new seed we've been working on. And you can see we have more than enough. So let's grab this guy right here. We'll claim our reward for our garlic seeds. We'll go plant those guys in just a sec, but I want to you guys bring you guys along as we go and spawn the various animals that we've earned ourselves today. Oh man, I just love having this here. Something in, you know, take up some space over in the land. Kind of been empty for a while and I've been slowly working as I've been terraforming. I've been tearing down the trees that I planted a little while ago. So let's go ahead and throw this guy here and that one there, some sheep. And I know not all of these animals belong in the barn, but that's okay. So let's put our pig over here. So that belongs. And then we've got ocelot, two of them, and two wolves. So check it out, we've got some animals in our barn. Ew! Very exciting stuff. Oh, I'm super excited. We have some life here in our world. Very good, cow. Very good. Well done. Anyway, that's all I've got planned for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. It's always good when we get some building done. It takes a long time to get the building done. And you know, it's like four or five minutes of time-lapse speed, but that's like an hour and a half or two hours of me building this guy. So anyway, I'm very pleased with it. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we will see you in the next episode.